Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Brown the Divine here and here with you. Gonna do your reading today. Happy Friday. Hope y'all are well. Let me shuffle these up here a little bit. Give a shout out to the Divine Squad. That's my little subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and obviously your comments. You know what I mean? You guys are fantastic like that, okay? So noobs, that's you. You're brand new to the channel. Hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the Divine Family. And we're gonna do reading the Leo Virgo cusps. I just love saying Leo Virgo, Leo Virgo. <laughs> so your birthday is August 19th through the 25th. You and my friends are part of the cusp of exposure, okay? So let me shuffle these up here and we'll get into your reading, okay? So noobs, I lay two cards down. That's your duality. That's the balance of your light and your dark side, right? Good and bad, masculine, feminine, whatever. And then uh, I'll lay more cards out and tell you a story. In that story, we'll have your message. After your message, we'll have your verdict, your outcome, your situation, scenario, and we'll be done. So that's pretty much it. So drink your coffees, buckle up, and let's get it popping. There's your first card that just came shooting right out. Okay, so what is this? Star card. Ooh, very nice. Okay, star card. So you could be healing from something okay this is the first thing that i'm picking up <clears throat> yes you are healing and you are raising your vibrations that means you're uh, definitely elevating um, your spirituality you're definitely um fighting your higher self okay and so this is what you're healing from and Okay, so that's kind of your energy in the present moment now. So let's get into um, the first part of your story. All right, here's your first card. Eight of Cups. All right, so you're healing from something emotional and you're walking away from that because obviously the healing process is you realize what's going on, you're analyzing, th figuring things out. And that is, you know, <clears throat> part of that healing process. So you definitely raise your vibrations, you elevate yourself, and you're walking away from things that don't serve you. Okay? Because like I said, you were analyzing things. There's a hermit. Too easy. I just discussed that. So <laughs> let's keep going. Right. Here's your next card. Moon card. Okay, well, you, you, you're you walking away from things after analyzing things because, uh, what? There was things that weren't being illuminated to you, things that were done in the dark behind your back kind of thing, okay? And take those. Bottoms the top. You'll have victory and success with this for surely. Once you heal, this healing is coming. It is in what you are going through now. You'll have victory over this competition, this strife, these kind of arguments, situations. So whatever battle you're going through that you're emotionally walking away from, analyzing what you have been left in the dark about or um, wasn't seeing, you'll have victory over this kind of conflict, okay? The conflict is definitely that Eight of, eight of Cups. Here comes a change. Okay. So there's death and transformation that's involved with this. Okay. And the death is to the strife, to the competition, to the conflicts. And your victory is now being had for you. Okay. We'll take those. <clears throat> Bottoms the top. There you go. Six of Pentacles. Okay. So what's going to happen is now you're going to have an even balance, a give and take to yourself. Okay. So you're giving to yourself, obviously, because you're healing through something that wasn't emotionally serving you. And so that balance with that Six of Pentacles is getting your emotions back. And that makes you a little sassy, right? That kind of reinvigorates your passions, your fire, you know, your mojo. And you boss completely up. Right. So perfect. Hierophant. Emperor, 
so you definitely raise your vibrations you take charge of all of this and you definitely um are not looking back see that six of six of wands he's not looking back at what was being analyzed that was left in the dark about why you had to walk away from things that weren't serving you people places or things right because there's just too much conflict right so you have a victory over that there's a change coming and that change is now you give to yourself a little more better you balance yourself that kind of invigorates you to kind of raise your passions and fire you up right so we'll take these three more cards i just shot right out okay so where are we going with this let's find out Okay, because now you're off to explore your horizon, see what is in that future for you because you definitely walked away from something that made you a little defensive because why you're in search of your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment that is underneath the death card. So that is the change. So you're seeking happiness. You're seeking that emotional fulfillment. That is all part of that healing process that you're going through. And so uh, that's really good. Congratulations. Uh, it's really hard to do to get over a bunch of conflict and feeling emotionally drained and really analyzing that whole situation and trying to make the best for yourself. And this is what invigorates your passion and your fire, building you up to be this boss. And now you just hold on to what you want, which is this healing and this uh, raising your vibration, you know, kind of um, getting in your higher self. And, you know, you're, you're, you're working towards your wish fulfillment. So you're reestablishing your emotions. You're getting more grounded, more connected. Okay, so that's pretty much the story. Let's get into your outcome here. Let's find out what the, the finale is. Okay, so noobs, hit the like button and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Family. Drink your coffee. And let's get your cards. There it is. Brand new star. I told you your emotions are filled up. Boom, I'm not lying. I never do. Tell your cards the way they are because this is in the present moment so your healing is getting a new um, feel on your emotions because you had to walk away from things that weren't serving you emotionally okay and so that was kind of hurting your feelings and kind of leaving you emotionally drained so now your change with the death card is the transformation of your emotions so you refill them back up just like i said too good so here we go <laughs> here comes your next card Sassy pants. Yeah, I hear you. Sassy pants. Queen of wands. <laughs> Here's your card. All right. Bam. Seven of cups. So now there's options, right? There's options to really heal, right? You know, counseling, talking to friends, things like that. To help you see a better perspective on your emotions to really fill that back up. And so you have options and avenues and ways to really do this. But you definitely have to go within in this hermit mode to see some of the things that don't that weren't illuminated to you that were really sucking your emotions dry. Okay. And it's it's just this conflict. There's a bunch of conflict that you have success over because the change comes and that gives you that balance to give yourself to replenish your emotions and then feel that you know there are options and avenues, like I said, to do so for your own wish fulfillment and your own happiness and your own emotions. So a little emotional roller coaster, but um, you really you recognize quickly that this competition, this strife, um, could be coworkers, could be family members, it could be friends um, that really have been battling you to drain you emotionally. Okay, and so in that battle, you are very successful, and so congratulations on that, my friends. Short and sweet to the point. What can I say? That has been your reading. I thank you for your time and your energy for coming out here, checking everything out. Um, if you haven't hit the like button, please do so and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other playlists, some fantastic stuff out there for you all to check out. So, um, I hope you guys have a great Friday. Be safe. And with that being said, peace and pray, my friends, and we'll see you again.